What is going on my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Thursday, December 10th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, we're going to be showing you one of our favorite builds in the game so far. This thing is so much fun to use. It's based around the Scorpio Shotgun, which is the new exotic from Title Update 12, and the thing is an absolute beast. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, first of all, welcome. Secondly, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. As always, my friends, I like to start the build videos off showing you a little bit of footage of the build in use. Then we'll give you a breakdown of the build itself. Then at the end of the video, we'll give you a few tips and show you a little more footage of uh, the thing in action. One thing I like to mention at the beginning of these videos is that this is just a template. You know, really make this build your own. This is something that I like using, and you know, for a build like this, there are so many different variations you can use. You can see here I'm at Lincoln Memorial, I'm running Heroic Difficulty, and it is just shredding NPCs. And one of the best things about this build, in my opinion, is that it's not maxed out, meaning this thing is far from perfect. Not only that, but like I mentioned a moment ago, there are so many different ways to run this thing. You can use different talents on the chest and backpack. You can, I mean, it, it's great. You can run, you know, Eclipse Protocol. Like, there's so many great variations that you can use with this build. And as we cut to the build itself, my friends, the best thing about this weapon, in my opinion, is the fact that it's not locked behind anything crazy. All you need to do to get it is to get to level 55 in your seasonal progress. Having said all of that, my friends, now let's get to the build itself. We'll give you a quick breakdown of what we have here. As always, we're going to start with the specialization. I prefer running with Gunner because you do get that 10% armor on kill. You can see here I'm running a four-piece Hunter's Fury, one-piece Gilligard, and the Memento Backpack. My secondary and handgun, honestly, I don't use it all, so we're really just going to focus on the Scorpio. Like I said a moment ago, my friends, this thing is an absolute monster. You can see it puts out a ton of damage, but the talent septic shock is what really makes this weapon amazing. You can see it reads as follows. Shooting a target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks add more severe debuffs to the target. It then goes on to break down how the stacks work. You can see 1, you get poison, 3, disorient, 6 is shock, 7, target takes additional 20% damage from all sources. Now the only change they made to this weapon from the first phase of the PTS till now is that the duration of status effects is based on percentage of pellets hit on applying shot. Next, let's go into the gear itself. As I mentioned, I'm running a four-piece Hunter's Fury. That is because of the bonuses you get when you equip this thing. A two-piece bonus gives you 15% shotgun and SMG damage. A three-piece bonus gives you 20% armor on kill and 100% health on kill. And the four-piece bonus is Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. Next we are going to move on to the chest piece, and this is one of those pieces where you have a lot of options. So right now you can see I'm running a Gilligard. To be honest with you, I'd much rather this be Badger Tough because you get that shotgun damage bonus. However, this is the best chest I have for this build. Now I've chosen the Intimidate talent because with this build I constantly have bonus armor and I'm pretty much always within 10 meters of NPCs so I do get that weapon damage bonus. However, as I mentioned a moment ago, if there's a different talent you enjoy running, run with that thing. This is something you can really make your own. Next we have the uh, Hunter's Fury gloves and knee pads and just stacking crit hit damage, crit hit chance and weapon damage. Same thing with the gloves. And as we get to the backpack, I've chosen to run with Memento. It is still by far, I think, one of the best pieces to have in the game for almost every build that you run. However, if you don't have it, there are a few others I can definitely recommend. I mean, you could just run a Badger Tough backpack here. You get that damage bonus. And in my opinion, the most important factor is you want to have one of two talents on the bag, either Bloodsucker or Adrenaline Rush. As most of you know, both of those talents give you bonus armor, which plays nicely off your chest piece. And one thing I want to mention real quick is a lot of people were asking, well, why don't you just use the Eclipse Protocol backpack in that slot? 
And the only reason why I did not give that as a secondary option to the Memento is because moving forward, they are going to be taking away the ability to run with that backpack on its own and actually get the talent that's on there. Which, to be honest with you, makes no sense to me whatsoever. And look, if you still run a full Eclipse Protocol build, you're going to get the talent on the bag. But I know moving forward, they said it's not meant to be standalone, which again makes no sense. But what are you going to do? Now getting back to the build real quick, as far as my skills go, I had a Crusader Shield, I had the Assault Drone, and that's really it, my friends. Like, this thing is really nice to put together. It does a lot of damage, and most of these things you should be able to get pretty easily in the open world. And as we start to wrap this up, this is just a build that I like running. I said this before, make this thing your own. You can run full Eclipse Protocol, like I mentioned. You could run, I mean, instead of Intimidate, you could have Obliterate on the chest. Like, however you play this game, make it your way. One final tip that I like to give new players or people just returning to the game is when you start with a new build, pick a mission or level or control point that you know really well. That time you're aware of the timing of the NPCs and you can really see the damage this thing can do. On that note, my friends, we're going to start to wrap this video up. I have to say I enjoyed playing this game so much with this build. Like it completely, I, I know I've been running like an SMG, Hunter Shuri, stuff like that, but there's something about this shotgun. It's so much fun to use. As always, I want to take a quick second and thank you all for the continued support you've been giving this channel. It's absolutely amazing. And, you know, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Like I said, this is something I enjoy doing. We have a lot of other build videos coming up soon with the new gear, and hopefully you'll like those as well. As I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you are new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you did enjoy this video, take a second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. But most importantly, take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Yeah! <laughs>